Hey everyone, another weekly update for the Senate Democrats. You know, one of the things that uh, you know, we did over the weekend, we had the Can-Am Sled Dog races, uh, went up on Friday and held a uh, town hall, uh, something that you know, we've done a lot of. This is really where we get a lot of great information from constituents. And uh, because of that, uh, one of the bills that we actually had this week, uh, Senator Mike Carpenter had a constituent that had inadvertently got left out of uh, his retiree health benefits. Senator Carpenter put a bill in, uh, rushed it through. Inland Fisheries and Wildlife Committee met on the ATV task force. Uh, that was actually an issue that we heard a lot about Friday night at the town hall. Uh, this task force is looking at a number of issues to try and make ATV in and Maine uh, even better. We uh, did the Buy American bill. We heard from a lot of businesses across the state that felt they got left out of uh, you know, bids that uh, came from out-of-state people, out-of-country people. Uh, one of the people that spoke on it was Kathy Leonard, uh, Auburn Manufacturing. Uh, you know, she had great, great testimony on that. And so this bill, unfortunately, is you know uh, still divided. We had a good vote on it. We're not spending more money. We're just giving main businesses every opportunity to get the bids on these. We also took up this week a uh, bill that Senator Nate Libby had for first responders. This bill would actually make it easier, uh, opening up uh, people getting their health insurance uh, quicker. Uh, it's certainly an incentive to get more people into that industry that's so critical, uh, but it's certainly an indication too of how important uh, we feel that first responders across the state are. Senator Bellows' broadband bill, we actually have taken the first votes on that. I am supporting a bill to streamline the process for municipalities to access vital broadband grants, to make it more efficient to invest in broadband at the local level, and to enhance access to broadband in rural communities. We always hear in this building in particular, I'm oh, looking for public-private partnerships and programs. This one actually works. It works, and I'm here to tell you it works because we use this as part of our annual planning process. That's something that uh, you know we're definitely going to push hard to get across the line and pass this session. Um, you know, we spoke about it a lot that this is a priority to make sure that people in the state have the best access to broadband so that they can get better opportunities and work and in their jobs and, and uh, you know, bring more people to Maine. So it's a critical thing for our caucus investment, something that, uh, you know, I'll, I'll feel like uh, we've failed if we don't do this session, but I got a pretty good idea we're going to do with this session.